Um, is it me, or are the bags under your eyes even darker than during the last round? Are you alright? Uh, thanks for the concern, Kave. I just... <sighs> haven't been sleeping well lately. Even though I try to fall asleep, I can't get the championship out of my head. And before I know it, it's morning again. <sighs> I know the feeling. That happens to me, too, when I'm agonizing over my blueprints. Do you have any tips for dealing with that? To be honest with you, no. You could say there are many things that don't have a quick fix and can only be endured. Hmm. I suppose you can think of it as something akin to an illness. Sometimes there's no effective cure, so you just have to let things run their course. I don't know what's stressing you out, but I can feel all the anxiety and pressure coming from you. The next round's about to start, so chin up and do your best. Oh, okay. You do your best, too. Looks like everyone's here. I will now explain the second round to you all. There are three ley line disruptors buried in the area around Aru Village. These devices can imitate the effects of ley line disruption and will constantly interfere with the environment. Your goal is to shut them down. The first three who manage to finish this task will be awarded four, three, and two points accordingly. Note that each person may only bring a set amount of food and water with them, and that leaving the designated competition zone will result in disqualification. Well, what do you think? Want to team up again? I shall consider letting you have the points on account of what happened in the previous round. That's all right. I've been here many times, and in any case, machines are one of my specialties. I doubt this will be particularly difficult. It's good to see such confidence in a youngster like yourself. I also happen to be well acquainted with this place. Let's see who will find these devices first. But aside from us, you should remember that there's a favorite for Champion. We must be careful of him. A favorite to win? Who is it? Shh. Not so loud. I mean that boy, Tainari. He took first place in the previous round, and if he does so again this time, we may as well declare this competition over. I heard that you solved the Vidya Forest's leyline effluence problem with him not long ago. Since this round involves resolving a machine simulated leyline disruption, it should be a simple matter for him. Hmm, that's true. It does look like his odds of winning are pretty high. He already has Kale, who is an excellent pupil. If he were to win this round as well, then wouldn't we just be letting him have all the fun? As his senior, it's my solemn duty to prevent such an inequitable arrangement from happening. I'm off. I'll get going as well. See you later. How are you feeling? I think I'm okay. But I'll take things slowly for now. Uh, is this all the water we're getting? Sorry, that's what the rules say. While this round seems to be about how quickly you can shut down the devices, it's also testing your ability to survive in tough conditions. Uh, I knew it'd be harder than I had expected. So, we'll either need to find the devices as quickly as possible, or we'll have to save our energy and wait for an opportunity. <sighs> okay, I'll head out shortly. Thanks a lot, Nilu. You're welcome. Uh, please, take care of yourself. Well, there goes everybody. So, who should we visit this time? Hmm, let Paimon think. Oh, right! Didn't Farozan say that Tainari's the favorite to win? Let's go look for him first! Hmm. 
Hmm. Let me see. Where would they put one of these disruptors? Desert fox? Why would there be desert foxes here? Oh, whoa! Stop biting my clothes! Hey! The sun is especially intense today. I hope Tainari will be all right. <sighs> Probably not. I should go check on him. Seems more annoying than the last round. That's fine, though. I'll find some place to sit and watch them scurry. right. I usually bring lots of water when I go to the desert, precisely to avoid this situation. I went through all my water very quickly, and with the effects of the disturbed ley lines, I started feeling dizzy. My ancestors, the Voluka Shuna, were originally from the desert. But I guess this is what happens when a species migrates. They become intolerant of their original environment. 
lesson. Let's get you some water. Humans. Such fragile beings. Your bodies can't even survive extreme changes in the environment. Here, take this. Let him drink it. Are you serious? <sighs> this had better be just normal water. Hey! You're leaving already? <sighs> Paimon really doesn't get that guy. What's he up to? Ugh, anyway, let's focus on helping Tainari drink some water first. I'm feeling a little better now. <laughs> ah, thanks, you two. Oh, it wasn't just the two of us. Just now... Found you at last. Sino! You're here too! I was concerned, so I came back to check on you. Will you be able to go on? The fur on my tail is so dry, it's practically been singed right off. I don't see any purpose in pushing myself beyond what is reasonable. It appears I'm not suited to this particular round. I should probably just return to Aru Village and rest. Really? So you're backing out? Yes. I do have my results in the first round to serve as a buffer, so even if I forfeit this round, I still have a chance to turn things around later. Withdrawing now will allow me to conserve my energy. Continuing to push onward would be counterproductive. A wise decision. Let's get you back to Aru Village. Uh, it's fine. I can make it back on my own. Oh, stop trying to be so polite. Come on, we'll help you back to Aru Village. You two must have a lot of free time if you came looking for me. There's some shade here, so we can stop for a while. Uh, all right, let's do that. to take cover here for a while. What about you? Uh, are you all done already? Unfortunately not. I'm not quite as capable as I thought. I intend to withdraw from this round. Sino and the Traveler are escorting me back to Aru Village. W withdraw Can you even do that? I believe the rules do provide for such a situation. Alhatham did say that the act of leaving the competition grounds would result in disqualification from the round. Didn't I ask you if you were all right before this? If you had just decided to withdraw then, you wouldn't have had to suffer. Well, I had to try, didn't I? So I tried, and it didn't work out, and now I'm backing out while I can. When I get back, I'm definitely going to make a batch of sun-resistant oil. Next time I venture into the desert, I'll be prepared. 
By the way, you're Layla, aren't you? You don't look very well yourself. Will you be all right? Uh, I did feel a little faint when I first entered the desert, but I feel a lot better after resting here for a while. Be careful not to push yourself too hard. Uh, don't worry. I'm just... Feeling the pressure? Uh-huh. Uh, you can tell? Your expression is similar to the ones I see on criminals' faces when I interrogate them. To tell you the truth, I'm still not sure whether I have what it takes to represent the Ratawahis Darshan in the championship. Most people voted for me because of all the rumors surrounding me, and to be honest, those rumors don't really mean anything. Now I don't know how to deal with all the expectations they've put on me. Even the people who usually criticize me voted for me this time. Uh, so I feel like I have to live up to their expectations somehow. So their expectations are putting pressure on you? Uh, yes. Uh, actually, I heard that you were voted in as well, Tainari. Uh, how do you deal with it? To be completely honest, I don't really feel any pressure. Firstly, those who expect things from you do not necessarily do so for benign reasons. On the other hand, those who do consider your feelings certainly wouldn't want you to push yourself. Next, we are researchers. Our primary duty is to interact with knowledge, not to meet others' expectations. As for me, I took part in this competition to advertise for an academic lecture at Gandarvaville next month. I'll obviously try my best during the competition, but I won't let any additional pressure get to me. I think you can also try to find a clearly defined goal. That may help you. Huh. I understand. Uh, thanks for your advice. Uh, I'm absolutely parched after talking so much. I've still got some water with me. No, I'll be alright. We aren't far from Aru Village, so I can go the rest of the way myself. You should get back to the competition. Don't you want to win that limited edition card? Yes. All right then. Your spirit will live on through me. Hey, don't talk like that. I'm not dead, Sino. <sighs> Everyone, I'll be heading back now. See you after the round ends. I'll continue searching for the ley line disruptors. Are you feeling better now, Layla? Yeah, I feel like some of the weight has been taken off my shoulders after chatting with Tainari. It's been a long time since I first left my hometown to come to the academia, and every day here has been so precious. But, of course, there have been some rough times. All sorts of complex astrological models, countless quizzes, and essays that took all my brain power to barely finish. Each of those things are like huge boulders barreling at me, forcing me to continue running forward. When I was chosen as my Darshan's representative, it felt like another boulder was added to the ones already rolling behind me. Every time I close my eyes, I think of all the people I disappoint if I mess up. Yeah, I think that's what Tainari was trying to tell me. You're our good friends, which is why you didn't stop him from dropping out of this round, and why you don't feel disappointed in me. That's right! No need to feel so down! Uh, that said, he did also say that he hopes I could have more concrete goals for taking part in this competition. Uh, I don't have any now, but I'll give that some thought. Anyway, I won't take up any more of your time. You still have to record the other contestants' progress, don't you? Perhaps they've had some breakthroughs while we've been chatting. True. We should go look for the others. Hmm. Now, who's left? Tainari's dropped out for the round, and we just saw Sino. 
Uh, you could go see how Madame Farozan's doing. I've heard that she's quite knowledgeable about the desert, so she's probably made some progress by now. Okay, let's go look for Farozan! Don't worry, I'll be fine. 